Yo, what is good, YouTubes? It's your boy Ray, and this is the Everyday City Carry. I have an unboxing. I want to give away from Backpack B. He did a sort of passion project for an eye for Sal, which is amazing, and we're going to talk about that in a second. So I just want to give a shout out and a big thank you to Backpack B. He organized this project for a fellow Knife Community member and he basically got this dude an eye. He got Sal an eye. I mean, how beautiful is that? That is one of my favorite things about this community is when we can rally together and do something positive and help someone else out. And I truly appreciate that. I wasn't even expecting to win. I just wanted to, you know, give some loot to the GoFundMe or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Backpack B, and shout out to you, Sal. Grab that eye, boy. So I won this, and I'm gonna be using this guy right here. This is what I've been carrying lately. This is the ZT 0450 CF from zero, 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 zero Tolerance. I don't know why it just glitched right there. But uh, yeah, this was uh, Blade Shop by Blade Shops himself. You've got the, the, I think it's called like the bark finish or something like that. Um, from the knife modders, Lindy Lou and Richie. And it was sharpened by Neves Knives. I got friends, boy. I got friends. Uh, yeah, let's just open this up. Dude, he did a handwritten note too. Dear Ray and Kelly, thank you so much for supporting the An Eye for Sal fundraiser. Congrats on winning one of the knives in the raffle. Keep up the great content on your channel. I have been enjoying all your videos lately. All the best, Brent, aka Backpack B. I fucking love this dude, man. This guy is one of my favorite people, and I will continue to try to promote his channel as much as I can. I think he reached a thousand subs lately. He deserves way more, and I truly appreciate this guy. So what do we have in the box? What do we do with this? Uh, we have a concept here. Uh, concept, I think it's concept or concept. Concept, let's do concept. This is the Helix. It's a 3.6 inch knife, uh, which is within the legal limits of New York City, but it is very tricky. <laughs> but let us open it up right here. So you've got the concept box, which is like that. I don't know if it's concept or concept. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm gonna say concept type box. You get your uh, concept books and crap. You get this little envelope with uh, warranty and things like that. And uh, you've got this whole thing right here. So you're gonna file that and chuck that because we are not here for this. We are not here for this. We are here for knives, baby. Let's put this out. All right, jam that in there. Get the box away. That's what you get in the box. You get your little model number and all that stuff there. And you usually get this type of little pouch. Little leather, uh, or is that real leather? I'm not sure. It says concept on it. And here is the Helix, dude. What? This thing is massive. Am I gonna carry this? I probably will. <laughs> I probably will. So this is designed by Mikkel Willemson and I actually did want one of these and I thought he would send me one but he was like nah son. <laughs> I didn't ask him to send me one I was just like man I'd love to try that and he didn't bite. <laughs> but from what I see I really like the this jimping looks crazy on the backspacer right there that looks nuts dude. Um, you got a lanyard hole and a very uh, rigid jimping on the top as well. Deep carry pocket clip. Not recessed screws though from what I see. It's not recessed. Kind of a bummer and, it, and it's not cut into the G10, the pocket clip. Uh, you've got a dual color. Uh, I wanna say this is titanium on the bottom here. So it's titanium and G10, that's kind of dope. And uh, it does say helix right here. You got your Cancept logo right there. Let's give it a flip. Wow, this is a massive fucking knife right here, dude. Woo! This definitely feels like a Mikkel Willis Willemson knife, man. 
Wow, so you see Mikkel Willemsen and Helix on the blade there. And let me show you guys a close-up of the blade. That is what we are working with. I do not know what the blade steel is on this. It says D2 actually right here on this side. So I guess now we know it's like right up there. Don't know if you guys can see that. Certainly a Mikkel Willemsen style design. You can just, you just know that man's design language from like a mile away. And uh, let's test the ergos on the small fish paws. Very good ergos. I mean, it is a big knife. It's not going to be very hard to please a person with small hands with a big knife because the ergos are always going to feel good. But I can, I can tell that even a person with bigger hands would be comfortable using this. Wow. And uh, you got a choil in the front right here. So you can do grips like this, which is always interesting. And uh, let's check the inside for weight reduction. So there is weight reduction on one side. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's on the bottom right there. I can't see it in the viewfinder, but it is there. And uh, let's check for the drop shuttiness. Oh, it's interesting. So it is a liner lock. I wonder if this is stainless steel or titanium. I'm not too sure. I would have put the specs up on the screen already so you guys can see that. Good action though. Great action. Look at this. That's real nice. The blade is nice and heavy, so it's definitely, it better be a drop shutter. You know, is what I'm saying. Wow. Let's do some size comparisons. I never do that. <laughs> Let's try what I have. What do I have here right now? Uh, I have an Ontario rat number two. <laughs> That's uh. let's go like this. That's your rat two right there. And uh, I have a para three here sporting OCD for EDC's um, compression made easy there you go and uh, yeah <laughs> rat 2 definitely much smaller than it but uh, let's do it on the ends here so certainly bigger than these two knives no surprise there I think it's 3.6 inch the blade length that's what it says on the box here 3.62 inch blade D2 uh, I don't know what the price is on this, but I would have put it up on the, spe uh, the screen already. But yeah, man, shout out to Backpack B. Shout out to you guys for making this channel what it is. Uh, and I get to play with knives, and now I get to share all my other stuff uh, with you guys. I actually want to address that a little bit. So a homie of mine on the Patreon hit me up. Um, shout out to Mark H. Love you, bud. He was, like, concerned because I always say that I'm not really into knives anymore. Um, that's that's incorrect actually um, maybe I if I've come across saying that and you guys interpreted it that way uh, what I mean to say is I'm into other shit as well so the during the course of my day I'm literally watching anime I'm watching horror I'm watching TV shows and guess what I'm doing when I'm watching those shows doing this you know what I'm saying fidgeting with my knives that's why action is so important to me and um, I'm also planning what to do for the podcast that I'm doing for the week. Like tonight, I'm prepping for Skylar Martinez, who's going to be on the show. Um, and that's what I'll be doing. So while I'm like cooking up ideas and doing those segments, I'll be playing with my knife. Uh, I also love having a knife on me because I always have to cut boxes at work. And I'm the guy that everyone calls. So don't ever uh, think that, oh, Ray's uh, getting out of the knives, getting out of the knife community. That's not what's going on. I'm just going to be, I'm going to be that bridge for knife guys to think it's okay to like other shit. You know what I'm saying? If you want to watch a review, if you want to watch, um, you know, like a purebred knife reviewer, like this is not the place for that. This is a place where we're going to have a silly goose time. We're going to watch silly videos. The Kelly is going to be running around. My cats are going to be running around. But I also happen to be one of you guys. I'm also a knife person. I'm an EDC person. I love EDC gear. I don't buy a lot of it because I use all my money to upgrade the channel, the video, and stuff like that. So I just wanted to mention that here. I'm not knocking Mark H, by the way. Uh, he's like one of my favorite people. Um, and it's a, gen it's a good genuine concern. And I, I wanted to address that and nip it in the bud. Your boy Ray, always going to be into EDC, always going to be into knives. But I'm going to showcase other stuff that I like as well. This is going to be more of a personal lifestyle channel with the Kelly and me, which is really what it's become. But thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. 
Uh, I absolutely love all the new subs, and yeah, just, you know, hit me up in the comments. Join the Patreon, patreon.com slash everydaycitycarry. Me and the Kelly be goofing off on there. If you want to donate tips to the channel, because we're not currently monetized, paypal.com. You could uh, send uh, some loot or donations to everydaycitycarry at gmail.com. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.